Howdy agents! In this video, I've got a new build for you, fresh from the lab. It's not the new meta, obviously, but it's super fun. I mean, we haven't had a balance update in over a year now, so every new build video you see that claims to crush the meta is probably just hot garbage. As usual, before the main course, just a reminder to hit that subscribe button already. The Center for the Blind is recruiting new members, and if you're watching this video, you're a perfect fit. And if you feel satisfied, like after eating a really good risotto at the end of this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Anyways, as you probably already know, I love my system corruption, and I finally decided to use it with a pistol. The main difference from your usual pistol build is I'm not using a shield. I hate shields. I hate that they slow you down. I hate that they proc in sync, and I hate how stupid you look when you walk around with one. So instead of having a 500 million health car door protect you, with this build, you get 1.5 million bonus armor from the system corruption ability. This gives you a little extra time to line up your shots, which is not easy with a pistol. Naturally, when you get this much bonus armor, you're going to want to throw on Intimidate for that 35% amplified damage. I'm also running the named DNH mask, Punch Drunk, for the 20% pistol damage and 20% headshot damage. And of course, the four pieces of system corruption. In all honesty, the two and three piece bonuses are pretty useless, but the four piece bonus is extremely strong. You basically get an instant use med kit, but instead of armor, it gives you bonus armor. And because we're running the backpack, we get 100% bonus armor. That's 1.5 million armor for 5 seconds to proc Intimidate. Not bad, not bad. This build, just like any pistol build, is pretty dependent on headshots. I'm still running crit on it just because, admittedly, I'm not very good at pistols yet, and I have a hard time hitting headshots with them. But, as you get more comfortable using pistols, I'd highly recommend swapping to a Providence chest piece and roll headshot damage and handling wherever you can. A great thing about pistols is the agility. If you've never run around in PvP with a pistol, you may not have noticed that strafing is a bit easier when holding one, as opposed to an SMG or assault rifle. You don't actually run faster, but you'll be harder to hit because you move side to side quicker. This is another reason I don't run a bulwark shield with this build. It makes you clunky and saps the fun out of it. If you do come up against a bulwark user, just run around behind him and smash his head in as he tries, and fails, to keep up. Personally, I use the D50 with Optimus on this build because you can one-tap squishies in the head when your bonus armor is up. I tried Breadbasket, but losing stacks on reload really hurts it, and I don't want to have to hit body shots to get my damage boost. If you do use Bulwark, I'd go with the Liberty, as headshots will heal your shield, making it that much tankier. As for the specialization, I run Sharpshooter for recoil control and flashbang. Just keep in mind that the armor kit bonuses do not affect system corruption, as your armor kits are replaced with an ability. Finally, my skills are a jammer pulse, as I need to get close and rely on being able to move quickly, so I need to jam seekers and hives, and a booster hive, because fuck status effects. This build is most fun when you're taking advantage of the increased agility pistols give you. If you're unfamiliar with how to strafe, check out my video on the basics of strafing. That'll get you on the right track. There's a link to it in the description. Also, ideally, you want the other guy to shoot first. Because A, aiming down sight slows your movement speed, making it easier to hit headshots. And B, popping your system corruption ability not only gives you bonus armor, it heals 20% of your regular armor. So even if you take a bit of damage, you can heal right back up. So that's that. The most badass pistol build you will see in the Division 2. Getting kills with a pistol and no shield gives you the right to teabag anyone as you please. So give it a try and have some fun agents. I'll see you in the next video.